and I finished work and it's pouring with rain and I thought what better weather than to go off shopping in but it's like really rainy really wet uh, but let's go off shopping together why not it's my weekend <laughs> I'm so wet so usually my technique is toys sleepwear cups to look for like Batman mugs from McDonald's and then books and then that's all I look at. Is there anything more wonderful in life than a giant wall filled with tiny plastic bags filled with toys? I don't think so. And look at this plushy section. <gasps> a Tweety Bird. Look at this little dapper Pikachu. Why didn't I buy this? I'm an idiot. And I needed this bag. It had a Garfield and a bunch of Neopets in it. But what are we looking at for the price? It looks pretty good. But I bet you it's expensive. $2.99. Oh, that's right. And this, look at this Snorlax, he was so adorable and soft and very clean uh, and he was only $2.99 which I thought was pretty good. Okay, there seems to be an unusual amount of Family Guy stuff today. There's like the dad and then up here, Stewie Griffin, I don't collect Family Guy, uh, I don't think I ever collect it but something we should be really excited about is this plush dolphin that I'm now really sad because I thought it was a shark. Oh. I stared at this bag for a while. The colours are so 90s and it says it's pets to go which is actually a modern toy so I don't know what that's about. Uh, it was only like five bucks. It was full of all these tiny dogs and bowls. It was really great, really cool looking. And then this was a big bag but see how expensive our toys are? Five bucks for this bag of McDonald's toys and Pez dispensers and all I wanted was the Lion King pants. And this is a giant Gandalf puzzle. Amazing. Only needed that out of the three. Okay, now I'm on high alert because I've just seen a bag that has 90s McDonald's toys in it. And that means someone's done a 90s McDonald's toys drop. So I'm going to have to go through every single little toy bag to find all the McDonald's toys because they never put them in the same one. <laughs> it's Tommy Pickles. Looky, looky, looky at these kids' backpacks. It's a Scooby-Doo Movie World backpack. He was only $5.00. But I didn't buy him because I already have him. My lovely friend Wanda got him for me. And now this is my technique for looking for Goosebumps books. I have lists on my phone that I go through. Same with Babysitter's Club. Again, okay, it's time to search for Goosebumps and <laughs> Babysitter's Club books. And he only said Backstreet Boy books, which would also be cool. But as you saw, I have my little list on my phone and I check each book as we go to see if I need it good technique is to collect all the books of one particular series of all the shelves, put them together and then check them all rather than having to check your phone each time. And here we go, checking my phone, do I need any of these books and I've made a neat little pile. I found one, yay, yay! And this was adorable, Goofy's Forest Run. This is a hard board book from 1979, absolutely love the illustrations of Cutie Patootie Mickey's. Okay guys, I put you on a shelf to show you this. It's a pop-up J.R. Tolkien book. Look at this schmog. Oh my god, it's the spider. What is that? Holy moly, I think I might buy this pop-up book. It's only $3.99. J.R. Tolkien pop-up book. This is what I have to deal with in Australian op shops. This is an old nighty, okay? It's really worn and is $10.99. What the hell? What the hell? Seriously. Because it's pouring rain outside, it is so quiet in the op shop. I can talk to you guys all I want and no one's bothering me and there's just no one around and I can look for as long as I want at a rack and nobody pushes in front of me. It's like the best op shopping night ever. Oh my goodness, Charlie Brown coffee mug. Look at this little seal one. That's cute. Hungry Jacks. Yes, please. Uh, and then it's from Peanuts 45 year anniversary. I'll be having that, thank you. And then this adorable Harry Potter tin from the original release 2000. It's stunning. Not only does it have on the top of the bottom, but the inside. Oh my goodness. My Guardian Leviosa people. And here we are, Saddle Club board game. This was amazing at $4. Had all the playing pieces. Iconic to children's. Children's in Australia. It was a really fun show. And this was a Cookie Monster money box. I thought it was going to be really expensive. It's beautifully painted and ceramic. Uh, but I think it was only like four bucks. That's a pretty good deal. I'm pretty happy with that. And then these are Precious Moments plates from 1982 from Avon. I knew what they were the moment I saw them. A bargain at only $4 each. So adorable. Look at those rosy cheeks. 
And this was epic, but it didn't have the glass in it. A cool, cool Lion King photo frame with everybody on the front. Oh my god. Timon, Pumba, I love you so good. And on the top shelf here, we have Elmo, Cookie Monster, and Oscar the Grouch on a sleigh with presents and tiny Santa hats. And it plays music. It's only $7. This is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. And this guy, oh my gosh, okay, so he's $4 and he's plastic and hard and it looks like it's from the early 80s and it has the iconic Sesame Street logo on it, which is what I love the most about it. Wait, hang on, wait, does this, does this play? <gasps> okay, so they're closing up, so I've got to finish up. Uh, well, I hope you had fun with me tonight. Tomorrow, I'll do a thrift haul and show you some of the goodies I got uh, and also some goodies I've been collecting for the past month. Hot tip, there's a lot of Muppets. Thanks for hanging with me, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.